So what do you take out of the, the loss at LSU? What, what was the lesson learned? Uh, we made mistakes as a team. I mean, it's a team effort. Uh, just got to uh, do better in defense and offense. Uh, just doing things, as a, just coming together as a team and just clicking, you know. I think it's just, uh, it was a lot of uh, nicks, a lot of small things we got to clean up, but we'll be pretty good. Short yardage situations. I mean, it's kind of the ultimate challenge for a front seven, linebackers specifically. What do you what do you take from that? I mean, LSU obviously uh, came at you guys and challenged you. I mean, um, how much will you work on that moving forward, and what do you take out of that? I mean, we uh, we passed LSU now. Uh, we talked about that Monday. Just we cleaned up a lot, a lot of stuff we did wrong. And but right now we're just back to the basics, getting back to the fundamentals, doing what we've been doing. How valuable, and I, nobody likes to lose, but. Right. Let's face it, LSU came into that game back to the wall after losing to Florida because they played poorly the week before. Now you guys, is there a different kind of sense of urgency? Does it kind of put a jolt in everybody like, man, it's it's real now. There are no mulligans left for Georgia. Nah, I mean, we're just going to attack every week like we do. You know, we get back to the basics. I mean, what we do here is like, it's different than everybody else. So we believe in what we do. We believe in each other, so just got to get back to what we've been doing. Is football still, I mean, are you guys having fun? I mean, I know that loss is tough, but when you go out to the field, are people looking forward to getting after it every day here for these oh, yeah. practices? Yeah, Georgia, that's what we do here. We got to get after it if we want to get where we're trying to go. What does Kirby bring to the table? I mean, we, we interview him down there, and he seems so enthused. He looks like he's one of the players. I mean, he looks yeah. like he's ready to play. Is he? What does he bring out there to the practice field? I mean, he brings all the energy. He brings all the energy that we need. I mean, we, gotta, we need that so we can feed off of it. And they have a great practice on both sides of the ball. So he does a great job of what he does. I, I've never covered a Georgia-Florida game. I've been on other beats. What is it? What makes it different? I mean, is there something fun about this game? I know you treat them all the same, but they all have different nuances. What's, what makes this game different? I mean, it's Florida. Georgia-Florida. I mean, it's always it's been like that. You know? I mean, it's uh, just a fun game to be, be in and be at, you know? Do you guys enjoy the fact, I know Georgia doesn't talk, but we know Florida does. They, they said in Atlanta that the final score last year wasn't indicative of the better team. Is that kind of fun when you, that there's a team out there that likes to talk like yeah. that? Is that kind yeah. of gas everything? It is, because I mean, we don't do that here. So when we see them doing that, uh, we just punish them. You know, make them pay for it. But yeah, we, we just do what we do. How did you think, um, how would you assess how you played uh, at LSU. I know the team collectively didn't play well. Were there some good things and some bad things, and what were they for you? Oh, of course. Uh, it's a lot of things I got to clean up, but as a team, we all got to clean up everything. You know, we can always get better. It take each week to get better, clean up, get back to the basics. Who are some of the leaders now, that, that the vocal leaders that, that you're hearing? I guess same guys all year. Have you heard any new voices after a Tough game like that? Uh, I mean, we got a lot of uh, great leaders on defense. Uh, Ladbetter, uh, J.R. Reed, and offense, you know, Jake, uh, Riley Ridley. I mean, we got a lot of uh, leaders on the team who, who willing to talk. And, you know, we just got to be there for each other. And this is part of it. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, thank you.